Okay, now we are going to look at how the students performed in each domain of the math section of the milestone. If you would notice, under each column head of each domain, there are circles. Use the key to determine what the circles actually uh, mean. For example, if the circle is empty, that means that student is a remediate learner who is in need of remediation in this particular domain in order to perform at the next grade level or course. The monitoring learner means that the student is proficient at the grade level but could be strengthened in this particular area. An accelerate learner means that the child has mastered this domain in his or her grade level and is fully prepared for the next grade level or course. Okay, now when we look at the norm reference score or the national percentile range, basically what this means is your student perform, uh, performance can be compared to other students nationally in math. A subset of questions in the end of grade assessment is from Terra Nova, a nationally normed achievement test. To interpret the student's national percentile range, one would say this student scored in the 59th percentile, which means out of 100 students, your child scored higher than 59 other students. If you see a DNA, that means that the child did not attempt those questions. If you see an IV, that means that those questions were invalidated for this particular student. Okay, now we're going to look at how the student will see their results. The previous slides was based on what the teacher will see. Now we're going to go into what the child will actually see in their individual score booklet. I say booklet because each child will receive um, a variety of pages that describes their performance. They'll receive an overall summary page, and then they'll receive an individual page based on each student's content area. Okay, let's look at it. Uh, this section shows the child's achievement level. This particular student was a level th uh, three proficient learner, and it describes uh, what a proficient learner is and the score that the child received in order to be considered a proficient learner. The next area is the child's um, proficiency uh, based on each domain. I want to say this is the mathematics, therefore there were five domains in sixth grade mathematics, ratios, proportion, I'm sorry, ratios and proportional relationships, the number system, expressions and equations, ge uh, geometry and statistics and probability. The same key is used to describe each circle. The child is either a remediate learner, moderate, I'm sorry, they we're asked to either monitor learning, or the child is considered accelerate learners. Okay, this next slide will give you the actual summary of the child's performance in each subject area. What you're seeing is um, a view of how the child performed per content, their achievement level, and their scale score. A description of each achievement level is given at the bottom of the screen. There are four achievement levels that will be used to describe the student's performance. It gives us language arts, math, science, and social studies performances. Okay, and now the child will receive a comparison um, based on how the child performed as it relates to the school, the system, and the state. This particular student scored at level three, a proficient learner. This child is compared to the school, which average student scored at 40, 473. The school district, where the average student scored 494. And the state which the average student scored a 510. 
now we're looking at a comparison to a national sample of students. This child performed in the 96th percentile, which basically says uh, the student's performance can be compared to other students nationally in mathematics. A subset of items in the end of grade assessment is from Terra Nova, a nationally normed achievement test. Now, what this means is the national percentile range means that a national percentile of 96 means that the student performed as well or as better than 96% of the national norming group. If the student were to take the test again, he or she would be expected to obtain a national percentile rank within the national percentile range of 88 to 99. And that is about it for this particular presentation. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, Obviously, this was not an exhaustive description of what we're looking at, but for the most part, this is what you receive as you are interpreting student scores. Thanks a lot and have a wonderful day.